of how the NYPD responded and behaved during the protest and the crime sprees. This is the mentality of the left. The city's in flame. The criminals have been released because most of them didn't have bail because of the new Cuomo de Blasio bail reforms. So now, the woman that met on the tarmac with Bill Clinton and an unmarked Learjet to protect Hillary and Obama is now, I guess she'll be meeting on the tarmac with members of the DNC in an unmarked jet. But she's been brought in to investigate the cops. If you've ever used a weed killer, you have to hear this message. I'm attorney Matt Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Recently, one of our lawyers was part of a team that helped secure a verdict for a couple who contracted cancer after using weed. If you're a farmer, a casual gardener, or anyone else who has used weed killers, you may not know that studies suggest that glyphosate, the main ingredient in Roundup, may increase the risk of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Glyphosate allegedly was aware of the risk posed by Roundup, but failed to disclose them to the public. If you or a loved one were diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and you have used Roundup, you could be owed money for damages. Contact us today for a free case review. You pay nothing unless we recover money for you. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Call 844-570-7003. 844-570-7003. Attorney advertising. Prior results do not guarantee a similar outcome. Over 50 offices nationwide. Main office for Orlando, Florida. Rhode Island's news, traffic, and weather station. News Radio 920 and 104.7 FM. WHGJ, Providence. total number of cases since the beginning of March, 15,862. There's now a commission appointed by Senate President Dominic Ruggiero to review the state's law enforcement officer's bill of rights. It prevents a police officer from being fired or placed on leave without pay because of misconduct, while the employment status is determined by a panel of other officers. Providence Senator Harold Metz, who will lead the commission, says he plans to meet with stakeholders. Congressman Jim Langevin going to face a Democratic Party primary challenge in September. Attorney Dylan Conley is the chairman of the Providence Board of Licenses. Langevin has held the second district seat for nearly 20 years. Conley says the upcoming election is about the future. In a statement, the Langevin campaign spokesman says the incumbent has always fought for the people of Rhode Island and will continue to do so. Get news 24-7 on demand at newsradioRI.com. Now, here's your Storm Team 10 forecast. Skies turn mostly cloudy along with high humidity today. Highs head to the lower 70s as rain moves in. Showers and the chance of a thunderstorm are possible through the late afternoon and evening hours. The slightly wet start Friday morning, but clearing rapidly, seeing temperatures reach the 80s with sun in the afternoon. I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Christina Ernie on News Radio 920 and 1047 FM. Is a second wave coming? I'm Lisa Brady, Fox News. That's one of the questions apparently rattling Wall Street as coronavirus cases rise again in more than 20 states. The latest snapshot of the Labor Department also raising concern about pandemic recovery. There were 1.5 million new claims for unemployment benefits last week. The number is significant but slightly weaker than economists predicted. In recent months, 44 million people have filed for unemployment benefits. The government says as of two weeks ago, 20.9 million are still receiving those payments. Though the Labor Department reported 2.5 million new jobs created in May, the companies are still laying off people in June. Fox News' Shini Kosala, weekly claims have been declining from their peak, but it's the 12th week of more than a million claims. The Dow's been down over 1,300 points, more than 4%. White House Economic Advisor Larry Kudlow says the administration is talking with health and health leaders about a pro-growth stimulus plan. Democrats have criticized the Senate for not taking up another $3 trillion coronavirus relief package passed by the House. The president also working on police reform proposals after the death of George Floyd. He'll discuss those issues today in Dallas, a trip Joe Biden is criticizing as a photo op. Meantime, telling Comedy Central's Daily Show he's most concerned with the president not accepting election results. It's my greatest concern, my single greatest concern. This president's going to try to steal this election. This is the guy who said that all mail-in ballots are fraudulent. Fox 
this is Peter Ducey. That line is a throwback to Be something Hillary Clinton ran this comma, last cycle. We and might Trump have heavy rain later. Accepting the results of the election in a debate. I'm not and too sure if it's changed, preemptively though. a sore loser. The White House choosing the presumptive Democratic nominee, pushing Democrat conspiracy theories. America is listening to Fox News. This report is sponsored by the T.J. Martell Foundation. News Radio 920 and 104.7 FM. Good evening, Mr. Tuckett, on Route 95 South between the edge curves of Route 1. Slow on 295 North at Johnston. There's road work following you ride between Hartford Ave and Route 5. Stop and go on the 610 connector outbound. There's ongoing work between Toby Street and Route 10. I'm Jackie Murphy on News Radio 920 and 104.7 FM. Join the T.J. Martell Foundation in the fight against leukemia, cancer, and AIDS. Your support helps facilitate cutting-edge research that will lead to more effective treatments and save more lives. Visit tjmartell.org to learn how you can help. They call it the new normal. Hi, uh, you can just leave the pizza right on the ground. Yes, the trouble here. I found you some hand sanitizer. <gasps> I love you. Okay. But one thing remains the same. One, nine, six at Route 6. Route 6 Auto Malkia in Swansea. It's still a crime to pay more than a sign. And get this, you make no car payments for four months. Here, with 0% financing, take that for new normal. Route 6 Auto Malkia, get 25000 in credit over the phone. Like now? Yes, if you bring home 350 a week, you can get up to $25,000 in credit over the phone and online. This is the new normal. I could get used to so one dime down. At Route 6 Auto Malkia in Swansea. Route 6 Auto Mall.com. Route 6 Auto Mall.com. Percent APR 66 months signed down 369 a month plus tax, tag, and fees to qualify buyers. These days, being a small business means navigating uncertainty in a constantly changing situation. So if you're looking for one trusted source that will keep you informed daily, visit the iHeartRadio Small Business Crisis Resource. There you'll find small business resources to help you get through this, including the latest info on loans, grants, and other forms of relief. You'll also see stories about small businesses making a difference. So let's get through this together. Visit iHeart.com slash small business today. That's iHeart.com slash small business. Hi, this runs St. Pierre. It's easier now to listen to News Radio 920 and 1047 FM to get your news, weather, and traffic when you're at home or at work. If you've got a smart speaker like the Amazon Dot or Echo, just say Alexa. Play News Radio 920 on iHeart Radio. It's that easy. News Radio 920 and 1047 FM. Mm -hmm. 